Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Hostile. This is episode 7. Uh, we're still in this area like we're in episode 6. Um, I'm coming up here to get this sword that we left here last episode. Just because I think it'll be useful and since I didn't die I'm feeling confident. So I'm hoping I don't die. I'm gonna put this here and just use it until it breaks. Because I'm really hoping there's iron somewhere else on this map. Okay, so... Last episode, we went through that door over there, and lit up a bit, and then we just ended the episode. But, this episode, we're going to explore more of that. I have some torches here, I might want to make a bit more. It's probably creepy behind me right now. So I'll go quickly. Oh, I had some right here as well. Okay. So, uh, what do I have? I have an extra bow, which is awesome, probably from a skeleton or something. I have a lot of food for now. Apparently my leather tunic broke. So I'll put that on. Uh, some coal, a lot of extra swords, an extra pick. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so. I'm pretty sure that this is like an entirely different area and not just. Oh, hi. Whoa, that's a lot of skeletons. Uh, bow. Alright, lava. Oh, I'm actually dying here. Shoot, um, I'm gonna retreat back into this just to get some food back. Uh, they'll probably follow me if they can open the doors. Okay, yeah, I'll eat some of this so I can regen the food. Or regen the hearts. Okay. I don't know if those were there at the end of the last episode or if they just spawned out of a spawner. It was probably a spawner. So I'll check that area out. Okay, so they're still there. I think one died in lava, but there's probably still two over there. See one right here. Hit him once. Twice. I think I can get the last shot with a sword. Perfect. Alright, zombie. Oh, creeper. Ow. Okay. Um, let's go up here. See if I can find the spawner. Or at least light this up so it can't happen again. Uh, I'm not seeing any spawners, but they might be like in the wall. I'll dig around a bit to see if I find any. Just broke that torch. I'm recording right now, right? Wow, I am. This is actually surprisingly not laggy whatsoever. I don't know what I did. I didn't do anything to resolve lag issues, but that's awesome. Okay. I hope I'm recording right now. I just checked, but it might be an issue or something. Okay. So we're coming around the perimeter of this room. I think my goal is to get, just get in that area over there. Because obviously that's where we're going. Creeper, it's probably gonna blow up again. Or it's just gonna fall in the lava like like an idiot. Uh skeleton? Hi. Oh, that's a lot of things. Okay, I'm retreating. Okay, retreating back up to here, get the high ground. Okay, still a skeleton. Oh, skeleton's trying to flank me. Ow! Okay, retreating even more. I'm gonna die here if I don't run. Run! I'm running away. That was a lot of mobs. Are they still following me? Okay, I don't think they're following me. They're too dumb to get through that door. Alright, that was pretty close, actually. I was not expecting that many mobs. So, healing up. Uh, I still have quite a few torches, so that's good. What was here that I... Oh, right, yeah. Okay, I'll start eating bread now. So, hopefully... You know, the saturation will actually take in once I start eating the bread. And I won't lose food so quickly. Um, I'll regen a bit here. See a slime. I also see a skeleton up there. I'll take that guy out real quick. I have enough arrows. I think only three shots. Yep. Okay. I'll get his bones, because why not? As I'm waiting for my hearts to regen. Cool. Uh, I think a piece of bread heals two and a half hunger. So I'll wait till I drop that much down. Actually, I might as well eat it now because I think that'll increase saturation. Yeah. Okay. So I think there's still guys on the other side of this. No, they're not coming for me. Of course, the AI is pretty dumb. Okay, skeleton over here, rushing at him. One, two, three. Cool. So the iron sword does like just as much as the fully charged bow. Actually, I think both the stone sword and the iron sword are three shots. Let me try that. At least on a skeleton. I think. Skeletons have like 12 hearts or something. Zombies have 10. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, there was one hit, but he took fall damage. Whoa, okay, well, he blew up his friend. 
still got a lot of torches over here, which is awesome. I think they just broke a torch I had here, though. Alright, we got an enderman over there, but as long as they don't look at him, I should be fine. Another skeleton. Uh, I'll try to shoot him off. Yes! Perfect shot. Alright, I'm gonna quickly run up here, light up a bit, and retreat. I only got one torch on before I ran away. Cobblestone. Okay, they follow me. No, I ran too far away. Alright, so... That area is pretty difficult. What happens if I try to bridge? Oh, like, there's a ledge up here I can go through. Okay, let's try going over here. Whoa! What the heck happened over there? Was that like a timed explosion? I'm glad I ran away. Okay, so there's a place I can dig through up here. I'm gonna try to dig to that glass over there. Just along the side. Because if I try to bridge a skeleton, it'll shoot me off and then I'll lose all this stuff. But if I dig across the wall, then there's no chance for a skeleton to hit me into the lava. They can hit me into the wall, but not into the lava. Okay, so what am I seeing over here? Uh, we got lava down there still. I'm not, I have no idea what happened over there. I assume that was a trap of some sort, like maybe a proximity detector. I don't know how you would detect stuff like that, though, except by spawners. Yeah, it could be mobs spawning on pressure plates and in like a spawner because, you know, spawners only spawn when a player is near, so it could be like a spawner in a closed room and there's a single pressure plate and if you get close enough a mob spawns there and it sets off TNT. That's definitely possible. In fact, I know for a fact that's in at least one of Nexus maps. Uh, not this one, but it still could be in this one. I forget what map it is that I know it's in. But I know that, de that Vex definitely knows how to set that up, so I should be careful for that. Anyway, I'm glad I retreated. Because if not, I probably would have died to whatever that was, TNT or something. Of course, it could just be a random explosion of creepers, like maybe a skeleton hitting a creeper, and then... Or a bunch of creepers at the same time. Oh, no, 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 no! Wow. Okay, that's not good at all. I thought there was a block there. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna try to rush back there. I think some of the stuff might have survived, but I doubt it. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's definitely not good at all. Uh, minecart. Quickly. Is that set right? No, it's not. Switch. Get on. Four... <sighs> Minecarts are dumb. Come on. I have five minutes. Get on. Good. Okay, go, go, go. I think probably about half my stuff died. I tried to get a block down and climb up onto the side, but it didn't happen. I really need... Did I have a water bucket? I don't think I had a water bucket. I only had a lava bucket. I should really carry around a water bucket. I should be carrying around a water and a lava bucket. Yeah, that creeper just walked into that lava. There's a slime chasing me. I'm gonna jump down here, be reckless, because I need to go fast. Alright, so I'm back here. That didn't take too long. Um, wow, I was being really careless there, wasn't I? I don't, I don't think I was holding shift. I think I just walked forward and I didn't look down. I'm not sure what happened. I'll have to replay that. Yeah, I was walking down here. I thought I think I thought there was a ledge right there because I saw this block and then there wasn't. Okay, how do I get down there without dying again? I actually don't know. Um, I should have brought a pick or something. Oh, it just happened. Yep, I think the same exact thing just happened again. Okay, I saw my, I saw the sword. All right, I need a pick. Do you have a pick? Yes, I do. Okay. I keep thinking there's a block down there, so I jump down and then there's not a block. It's an illusion or something. Not exactly sure. Okay, creeper. I'm just gonna dodge the creeper. Since there's a creeper there, I can't get a minecart, so I'll just run along the track. It doesn't take too long. I'll be really disappointed if the same thing happens as happened in episode 4. I just keep trying for this and I keep dying. It could happen, but I really hope it doesn't. Because I don't want to lose all that stuff. I take the iron sword and then I just die. Of course, the iron sword is still there. I saw it when I fell down. Okay, let's go. So now I actually have a pick, so I have a chance of digging to it. And I'm not going to make the mistake of just falling into that hole again. Unless I do. That'd be pretty embarrassing. Do that for a third time. 
All right, so do not just jump randomly into that hole. He's right here. It looks like there's a block down there until you walk straight up against it, and there's actually not a block because it like goes way down to there. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, I'm gonna try to dig down fast. I'm gonna hold shift the entire time. Okay, good. There are blocks right here. I'm gonna dig this way now. Gotta be cautious about this. I got. I'm gonna try to dig into the wall where my stuff is. Oh, I need to find the lava. Where's the lava? Okay, right here. I'm not seeing. I'm not. Where am I in relation to my stuff? Oh, I'm right above it. I'm right above the glass. Do I want to drop down? That's that's careless. It's careless. I need to make a staircase. I have enough time. It's not really been five minutes late yet. Okay. Uh. All right. I'm gonna dig this way. It's. I mean, it'll be nice to have a staircase back up too. Okay. Uh. I can go over here. I can dig over to here and dig down a staircase here. See that iron sword right there? I hope my torch has survived. Otherwise, I'll be very sad. Okay, I got the bow. I got, okay, I got coal. And I got some wood. Is that really all that happened? Okay, I'm sad now. I don't see any of my stuff. Okay, so yeah, here's the dungeon. That's lava right there. I'm gonna do that. Okay, I didn't get any of my torches, but I got wood, and I can make torches with the coal. Perfect. Alright, I have a pickaxe. That's the one I brought. I have a bow. I have no arrows. Okay. Now, here's the question. Do I want to go back and get more stuff? Or do I want to continue on and hope there's stuff in here? Let's just check this out real quick. I'll put those there so I can block up the lava. Oh, okay, this looks dangerous. Yeah, I'm not going to attempt this area until I get more stuff. Alright, so I'm going to go all the way back here. Uh, I can make my staircase back up. And I'll record until I get up to the rails, and then I'll just take the rails back. Just because I know it's still going to take a long time. Alright, where's the staircase? I know it's right up here. Is this it? Yeah, here it is. Alright, so I'll dig this out, block up this hole. Block up this hole. Come up here. Light this up. Just making sure I'm on normal. Okay, this is dangerous right here. Perfect. Alright, this is also dangerous. I'm going to make this a flawless pathway. Just so I cannot fall while I'm going through here. Alright, that's fine. Just keep some light in here. Okay. Okay. Uh, right here. And right here. I can't fall here. Looks like I can, but I can't. Okay, and then I make an edge here. And down to here. And I'm fine. Okay. So, I will see you back at the base where I'm going to restock, get all my stuff back, all this, at least as much as I can. And then I will attempt that dungeon. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Alright, so we're back at the base. Uh, a tree grew, so I'll take that down. But I lost my axe, so I need to get that back. I'm also going to try to get the shovel back as well here. So, axe and shovel... Perfect. Okay. Um, I need some arrows, but I'm not sure if I have any. I have the signs here, but I don't want to carelessly lose them. Oh, I had axes and shovels in here. I'm just gonna take those. All right. Anyway, we're gonna get um some more swords as well. Um, we get three more swords. Whoops. Perfect. We can put those up here. Okay. And. What else do we need? Pickaxes. We definitely need some more pickaxes. Nope. That there. Perfect. Okay. So, that's enough. Disappointed that we don't have arrows. Uh, we also don't have feathers or flint, so we can't make any arrows ourselves. Um, 
Lost all my levels. Let's see. I have all this coal here. So I'll take that so I can make torches on the go. And I'll get that tree. Okay, I have all the things the pants had to be the ones to survive. The ones that are most common on this map. Because they're like in every single chest that has a sign in it. I think there's pants over here. So I'll refresh them. But I'm not sure if I have any more leather to refresh the rest of my armor. Um, much more. Here we go. Yeah, so I got fresh pants here. But I don't think I have any more leather. I'll go check that out. Um, I'm also pretty much out of food from rushing in there to get my stuff. It's my last thing, and I need to start using zombie flesh. Alright, so I'm going to get as much stuff as I can here, and then I'll meet you back at Dungeon 14. Alright, so it occurred to me that I might want to make a zombie farm in here, because zombies do give food, and that's what's killing me right now, the lack of food. So if I can find a zombie spawner I didn't destroy, and actually I think there's one right at the entrance here that I missed last episode, uh, then I can actually, instead of destroying it, I'll make a farm out of it. Yeah, right here. Perfect. So, not not like a an automatic kill farm, but more like a enclosed part, an enclosed way where they can only spawn in one room, and I can just use water to route them to me. So I'm gonna try to light up the entrance to this. Oh, hello. Yeah, there's a lot of them in here. Okay. So I'm getting lots of zombie flesh right now. I'll try to light up at least this entrance. This room is pretty safe now. I got rid of most of the spawners, but I still need to watch out. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna t I'm not gonna do. I might get to it this episode, but I doubt it. I think this episode is more gonna focus on making this grinder because it'll be really useful once I get it done. Okay, so I know the I know the dimensions that these that zombies can spawn in. So I'll dig those out, and then I'll be back once I have a room that I can route them to. So I started to get this soul sin, and I realized there's dirt under here. Uh, I just thought I'd mention that, because dirt could come in handy. So, if I want to find dirt, I know where to find it. Is that under everything here? Yeah, wow. There's a lot of dirt in this room, I didn't realize. Alright, I'll be back. I only started to do this, so I'll be right back. Alright, back again. I'm still not done, but guess what I found below the dirt? Clay. Uh, I haven't checked down the clay yet. It's just stone. Alright, wow, so I have clay. I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but that's awesome. I'll put that block back for now. Uh, I'll try to think of uses for clay as I dig this out, but I don't think it's that useful. Alright, so I've almost got the dimensions. It's four away from the spawner, so we got one, two, three, four in each direction. And then I'm going to go one more down beneath the dirt, so I guess the clay will be the floor. And I'll go up a bit. I'm not. I don't exactly remember how far you're supposed to go up above it, but I'll look it up. All right. So I'll be back when it's completely done, unless I find you know something else completely crazy. All right. Welcome back. This is a completed room for the spawner. Um, I believe these are the exact dimensions that a zombie can spawn. A zombie can spawn from all the way up in the top of this corner to this bottom corner over here. Uh, this entire room, and if I were to dig one out here, it would not be able to spawn there. Um, so if you don't know how spawners work, they basically do a check system. They, uh, let me turn off that music real quick. Okay, so basically, spawners do a check system to spawn. They, they, they pick four, they, they try to spawn four zombies. So they pick four random areas every single time. They do, they... Every single time it loads, so it, when this spin is spinning the fastest, and it flashes, it tries for four random places in this area that I've lined out. Every every place, every area that ha that doesn't have a block, and has the right lighting, so below seven, it spawns a zombie. Therefore, if we take out the entire dimensions, and we take out all these torches, every time this thing loads, four zombies will spawn. So... This is the best way to do it. Now, if we wouldn't have lost that bucket in the lava, we could put water in these two corners and have it route, have all the zombies when they spawn route to here and then just kill them right here. But unfortunately, we don't have enough iron for a bucket. 
so what we're gonna have to do is just allow them to spawn in here and kill them ourselves. Uh, as soon as we get iron, and the, one more piece of iron, and we're able to get a bucket, then we'll actually be able to do this semi-automatically. And spawners, I'm sure most people know that spawners activate when you're, with, you're within 16 blocks of them. So you can stand outside this room, which is only, this is only, what, one, two, three, four blocks away from the spawner. So if I'm standing out here, up there, they'll still spawn down here. And I can stand here and try to hit them with swords. That's the goal. So I'll set up a way for them in. I'll take out all the torches and I'll show you it working. Alright, so I made a staircase down to here. So it just goes right through here, down to here. I have the zombies right here. There's probably a block here. If you do go up in this block, they actually can hit you. So they're all coming after me right here. They're going to come toward me and I can hit them. The problem is... Since there's no water, there's literally no way to collect the items right now. But as soon as I get water, I can push all the zombies into here and get them to here, and I can kill them with my sword to get experience, or I can even kill them automatically with a drop or water drowning, or even a lava blade if I'm skilled enough. But for now, we've got this set up. I can quickly go in here, hit the zombies back to collect a bit more, and then put that back to get a bit of meat. And I've got 18 here, so that's pretty much done. I, again, I can't do anything until I get water. So once I get water, or once I get a bucket at least, because water down there, that's easy. But I don't have a bucket, because there's no more iron left up there, and I only have two iron back at base. I lost the bucket I had in, some lo in the lava at the beginning of this episode, um, and I only have two other pieces left. So unless there's more up here, which I don't think there is... I cannot get any other buckets. Alright, so... Now that I've got lots of food, I think I'm going to try to attempt that... Dungeon 14 for the remainder of this episode. i got like 10 minutes left, I think. Yeah, about 10 minutes left. So... Might as well just try for it. Uh... My pants broke, so I'll put this on. I was fighting a lot of zombies kept spawning as I was building that, so I was killing those as I went. I uh, light this area up, because there's usually a creeper or something every time I walk in here. And I have the tortoise for it right now. We actually got quite a few mushrooms spawning here, which is nice. I do not want to, you know, not light up this room, even if it does cause mushrooms to spawn. Because that's like, this is a route I want to take. If there was no other route over there, I can go this way, but that's just annoying. Okay, anyway, we got trees here. Um, I'll get as prepared as I can right now, and I'll meet you back at that dungeon. Alright, I was walking back, and this skeleton was here, so I decided to start recording just in case something happens. Nothing should happen. I should be able to kill this guy easily, but there was a chance he could tip me into lava. So, I made sure to press that button. But I'm fine, unless I make a stupid mistake. I'll stay recording, because I'm almost there, until I get all the way back to that dungeon. I have that nice path over here. Um, and I also have that way that I'm going to explore at some point, but there were a lot of mobs over there. I probably want to wait until I get that lava back, because lava could be really useful. But to get lava, I need a bucket, and to get a bucket, I need iron. And I do not have any iron. So as soon as I find iron, I'll be able to get that mob farm working. And, oh, that's dangerous right here. So, um, I, since I got a lot of dirt from the mob farm, I guess I'll be using dirt for building. It's going to look kind of weird, but I have a lot more dirt than cobblestone, so it's going to be useful. Alright, so... I'm going to turn up my render distance real quick, just so I can see this entire room. Oh. Oh no. Can't see the entire room because of the void fog. Okay, that's annoying. I was on full render distance. Okay, so... This is one of those places where it would be really useful to have a water bucket, because then I wouldn't have to... And I could just, like make the entire bottom water, and I wouldn't have to worry about falling in. But I do have to worry about falling in, because I do not have a water bucket. Um, so I'm going to not trust this, because there could be skeletons, and actually make a more safe path along here. That's three wide instead of one wide. So this is going to take a while. A lot longer than it should. Hmm, does this just extend... Okay, so this entire... Hmm, okay. This actually goes pretty high, so let's try this. Let's get up high. 
so the void fog goes away and I can like, see the entire entire room. Is that gonna work? Yeah. Okay. So now I can actually see more. So basically, it's just a bunch of random bedrock things that I guess I'm supposed to climb. There's a hole over there, just a zombie, so no skeletons, but a skeleton could spawn. I also see like a door or something over there. All right, that's that's my goal. I'm going for that door over there, if that is a door. It might just be a random shadow, but I'll go for it anyway. All right, there's bedrock below there, so I didn't have to run a risk of digging myself all the way down. Um, so I was smart at that time. Okay, so I guess I'll just go to the end of this and make a staircase up to that one. Still no skeletons. If a skeleton spawns, I need to immediately take it out. Problem is I don't have arrows. Uh, no, I did not get any arrows because there was only zombies in that room. Um, if there were skeletons in that room with that I made the mob spawner, I could have maybe picked up an arrow, but there weren't. All right, so we got a staircase. There's still no skeletons. I see a spider, but it can't get to me. Definitely gonna continue to light this up. In fact, I should probably light up down here as well, even though there is lava. All right, I light up down here really slowly though. And as soon as I see a skeleton or a mob on the same bridge as me, I'm retreating. Okay, nope, not good, not good, not good. Alright. Whew, okay. I was not, I didn't think that he would try to fall down. But the AI hasn't been changed yet, so they don't fall down and take damage. Oh, or apparently, maybe that's just low enough. Or, hot, or close enough to him that he thought it was okay. And it was okay, because he could have easily killed me there if I wasn't paying attention. Alright, but there's no mobs that can reach me now, unless they want to fall down from over there, and there's none over there. Okay, so I'm going to continue to make this safe path as I'm going along here. I don't need to make the 3 one on every single thing, just the route I'm taking, probably. Uh, That's close. No, I'm going to go in the middle here. I'm going to take the middle. Just because... Alright, so continuing to build out here, should probably be on this side, because what's the point of a three-wide thing if you're not using it? Okay. I actually am running out of dirt pretty quickly here. Alright, so, but, you know, think think how fast, much faster I went around a cobblestone. I'd have been on a cobblestone for a while now. Okay, I see a spawner over there. I can't tell what it is, though. I also see something, oh, well, it's a ghast spawner. Okay, this area just got way more difficult than I thought it would be. Okay, can I reach this? No, I have to do this. No, not that bad. Is that a I'm pretty sure that's a ghast spawner. So I'm going to need to be really careful over there. When does it start? I don't think I'm close enough for it to start anytime soon. Yeah, it's definitely a gas spawner. Alright, if I go all the way on this side of the room, there might be a chance that it doesn't spawn. Oh, oh, I see. I can only get through down there, so if there's a hole right there, I'll have to go close enough for it to spawn. Alright, well, that'll be annoying. I'll try to get as far as I can, though. Because, I mean, this area's got to be possible, or no one would have ever completed this map, and I know for a fact that people have completed this map. So, they did this area somehow. And I'm going to try to do it the same way, whatever that way was. Okay, so the pro another problem with dirt is that it's very easily blown up. But since there's only these bars, I doubt the gas will be able to get over here. Alright, so I'll bridge precariously over here, even though I know it's a bad idea. Eight, seven, six, five. I'm running out of this majorly. Okay, light this up because I really do not want mobs to spawn on this bridge. Uh, can I make more torches? Yes, I can. Alright, how much time do we have left this episode? Let's see. Alright, this episode is pretty much over. I'm going to get down to this hole. Definitely a gas spawner. I can t definitely tell that now. Uh, and then I'll end the episode once I reach this hole. All right, I just ran out of dirt, so I'll make a continue this bridge over to here. All right, well I'm at the hole now, and the void fog is back. I light this up right here, just make sure nothing spawns. All right, and I'm gonna go back to end the episode.
Okay, very careful on this. I don't think anything could spawn on here anymore. I lit it up enough. But you can never be too careful. Actually, I think stuff can still spawn up there if I don't light that up. Whoa, okay, this isn't three wide. I almost walked down there. I'm going to make this three wide real quick. Okay, that's a lot more safe. Alright, so that's going to be it for episode, what is it, seven? I think it's seven. Seven of Super Hostile Sea of Flames. I hope you enjoyed. Um, as soon as I get a bucket, like I've said before, I will make I will continue that mob spawner and actually make it effective instead of just randomly killing stuff. Um, but until then, I'm just going to keep exploring all the dungeons I've discovered. I've discovered quite a lot right now. I have a lot of options to go. I have that way, I have the... Um, the one that was beside the one I got the brown wool, the the one that's like shut up spiders or something like that. I have the death fortress. There's three wool in the death fortress apparently because there were three dungeons there. I also got that stairway that goes down near the death fortress that apparently has two wool. So that's a lot. Um, what else can I do? I have a, I know I have a lot more options basically. Oh I oh okay I forgot about that. All right. So I just remembered, remember that pillar room I said in the fourth episode that I was going to go down there in the next episode and then I completely forgot. So, matter to remember, I will go there episode 7. So episode 7, I'm going to explore the pillar room first. I knew there was something I forgot. I was trying to think at the beginning before I started recording. I thought there was something I was going to go back and do before I started, but I couldn't remember. And now I do remember what it is. So I will do that. I'm going to record the next episode right after that. So I will cut to the pillar room between episodes. Okay. Um, flash the deaths, right there, there you go, I died twice this episode, I believe, yeah, okay, so, I have no outro yet, so I'm gonna make a random spinning thing that'll look cool and stuff, alright, so yeah, spinning, spinning, and...